Hello everyone, this is Meenakshi Narula, founder and CEO at Mentoring the Mentors, an institute that accelerates your learning curve. At our institute, it's our initiative to provide you with various innovative pedagogical activities, various skills, so that you'll be able to enhance your teaching learning strategies and bring that kind of engagement, excitement, innovation in your classes. So in today's video, we're going to talk about assessment wrappers. We call them exam wrappers as well. So uh, you see, recently our students, they appeared in half yearly examination. What we did, we have given them feedback. We have given them maybe grades or marks, right? Feedback, uh, we do not know what kind of uh, detailed feedback we have given or we have just given some kind of uh, adjectives. Wow, beautiful, commendable, I mean, a great. I mean, some kind of, you see, beautiful words we download from internet and we share it with the students. And then what? Do we give that kind of feedback that leads to the students, uh, you see, move forward? How feedback helps them to move forward? That is feed forward. So we uh, maybe don't think about it. So my dear educators, we're going to talk about assessment wrappers. We're going to talk about exam wrappers. जे यो एग्जाम रैपर्स हैं ये जो असेसमेंट रैपर्स हैं ये एक फॉर्म की तरह होते हैं एज यू कैन सी इट ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड मे बी इन माई लेटेस्ट वीडियो ऑल्सो यू मस्ट हैव सीन आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग द सेम विद माई को टीचर्स लाइक हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट द सेम इन आवर स्कूल इन आवर क्लासेस तो इसमें हमें क्या करना है एक फॉर्म की तरह होते हैं हम अपने स्टूडेंट्स को बिफोर असेसमेंट लाइक बिफोर टेकिंग देयर सपोज हाफ ईयरली एग्जामिनेशन और मे बी अपकमिंग प्री बोर्ड प्रियोडिक टेस्ट Uh, another examination the number of examination will be uh, having in our classes different unit tests as well so before they appear in the final examination we want to prepare them to appear in those exams effectively to uske liye ek form ke tarike se hum bachcho ko we give them a set of questions usually these questions are based on metacognition metacognition you know very well thinking about thinking now what is thinking about thinking what is माई थिंकिंग मेरी थिंकिंग क्या है मेरी सोच क्या है मेरा पढ़ने का तरीका क्या है मैं चीजों को कैसे प्रिसीव करती हूँ मेरा स्टडी पैटर्न क्या है मैं कितनी बुक्स को रेफर करती हूँ मैं कितना टाइम देती हूँ मैं कितनी बार रिविजन करती हूँ एक चीज के लिए दैट इज माई थिंकिंग दैट इज माई स्ट्रैटेजीज तो उसके बारे में सोचना कि मैं उसी के ऊपर रिफ्लेक्ट करूं कि मुझे कहाँ कहाँ इम्प्रूवमेंट की जरूरत है जो मैं स्ट्रैटेजीज यूज कर रही हूँ एज अ स्टूडेंट वो ठीक है या मुझे उसमें चेंज करने की जरूरत है उसके लिए मुझे खुद के स्ट्रैटेजीज के ऊपर रिफ्लेक्ट करना होगा एंड आई वांट माय मेंटर्स माय टीचर्स टू गाइड मी तो बिल्कुल ठीक इसी तरीके से हमने अपने स्टूडेंट्स को एग्जाम रैपर्स के थ्रू प्रिपेयर करना है फॉर देयर अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन सो इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ऑन द स्क्रीन नाउ देयर इज वन असेसमेंट रैपर और मे बी एग्जाम रैपर आई सेड तो देखिए हम इसमें क्या करेंगे इसमें कुछ प्री टेस्ट रिफ्लेक्शन है हम अपने स्टूडेंट से पूछेंगे वेदर दे अग्री विद द स्टेटमेंट और दे डिस लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ स्टेटमेंट आउटसाइड ऑफ द लेसन आई हैवेंट डन मच रिविजन फॉर दिस असेसमेंट जो हमने बच्चों को कराया दे उसी के साथ ही उन्होंने तैयारी करी है उसके बियॉन्ड भी उन्होंने कुछ जाकर एक्सप्लोर किए हैं डिफरेंट रिसोर्सेज यूजली द स्टूडेंट से गो हैड विद दैट डिफरेंट सैम्पल पेपर्स आर देयर मे बी डिफरेंट एक्स्ट्रा रिसोर्सेज आर देयर दे हैव रेफर टू और नॉट द चाइल्ड इज uh telling you the truth right now i take this subject seriously and want to succeed in it certainly i want i love to study this subject aur main subject to isliye pad raha hu because that is a part of my curriculum mujhe padhna pad raha hai maybe mujhe 10th grade tak padhna hai uske baad 11th mein i will have my own subject choices so meri thinking kya hai us subject ke liye i am not in the best mental state to be taking any assessment kya meri mental state aisi hai कि मैं अभी अपकमिंग एग्जाम जो मेरा आ रहा है मेरा टेस्ट आ रहा है मैं उसमें अच्छे तरीके से अपीयर हो पाऊंगी या मैं नहीं हो पाऊंगा मन व्हाट एग्जैक्टली माय सिचुएशन इज आई हैव अंडरस्टूड मोस्ट ऑफ व्हाट हैज बीन टॉट सो फार व्हाट ऑल थिंग्स मेरे टीचर्स ने जो मुझे पढ़ाया है मैंने अच्छे से उसको समझा है मैंने ग्रास्प किया है एंड आई एम रेडी फॉर इट देयर आर सिग्निफिकेंट गैप्स इन माई सब्जेक्ट नॉलेज और Uh, you know very well due to this covid past two years students either they have not studied uh, they have not went to the schools also they have not attended the classes as well some of the students so there is a learning gap but as per age as the time now they have been promoted to the next grade so there is a learning gap wo bachcho mein ek learning gap hai abhi pehle ka bhi aur maybe subject knowledge mein obviously wo gap rehta hai right so wo if the child 
himself or herself agrees like, yes, there is a learning gap. There is a subject knowledge gap that I need to cover. I need it to be bridged by someone. I understand how to answer the question uh, papers in this subject, like what kind of questions will be asked to me. As you see in the recent uh, videos, we have already uh, talked about the exam in the exam. Exam ka question paper ka pattern kya rega competency based question honge, MCQ question honge, source based question hai, case based question hai, like uh, brief kitne hai, I mean uh, detailed wale kitne hai. So accordingly, we have already discussed about it. Are the students familiar about it? So uh, you have to ask your children about it. Now, I understand. Uh, well, uh, what the examiner is looking for in this subject. What is the topic that is going to be assessed, right? Learning outcomes, so we will refer to learning objectives, learning outcomes that should be referred to. Then the children will be able to clear. So we will ask them. Now, my mind is calm, concentrated and focused. Perfect for success. See, if we are prepared for the mental exam, then what will we do in the exam? Mein ja kar? So, the state of mind is very important. You know whether the children they are under stress or they want some help from their parents, from their mentors, from their sibling. They want that kind of environment. So, that is really very important. Right? So, now, what next? Yeah. See now. Now, I am clear on how to improve uh, based on previous assessments. Right? But when you have assessment, you have a periodic test, you have a base for it, but you have to know that now, in the exam, I have to improve what I have to do. I have to work on facts, I have to do the work on diagrams, I have to do the labeling, or I have to do the two parts, and I have attempted only one part, I forgot to attempt the second part. Maybe I have to improve my handwriting speed. I was not able to complete my paper. So, but I have to clear that what I have to do or not clear. So, you will ask the child. I know what my targets are and what I need to focus on. But you have to target what is it, what is it, focus on it. And I believe I will do it better in the practice uh, than the previous one. Is the child confident enough? Now, my performance in this subject is held back by a poor attitude. Attitude really, uh, it, it matters a lot. We know very well. If we are not having a positive attitude, we do not look at the subject like, yes, I am looking forward to the subject. I want to learn it. Or maybe I just take it as a part of my curriculum because I have to do it. So well, that also matters a lot. So we need to talk about that also to our students. I feel healthy, fit, well hydrated and properly fed. See, bina khaye, pa, bina hydrated proper rahe, but check kaise focus karing. If they are not physically healthy, how will they be able to focus and maybe concentrate on the exam that they are going to appear for? Uh, now, I uh, know what my strengths and weaknesses are in this subject. SWOT analysis is a kind of exam wrapper ke through SWOT analysis karte hai bacho ka. Children are aware of which area is very good. Like for example, maths. We will be able to understand that the child is clear that we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, 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 but in fractions I have got some problem. Maybe we have to do geometrical figures I am having some problem. These theorems are not going to problem. I mean the child is very very clear. Uh, strength areas and very weakness wale areas and I need to work on it. I will remember to manage my time effectively in this assessment. Time management really important. I mean, when my child comes to me, I have to do exam, I have to do my two questions because maybe I, uh, I could not divide the time properly MCQ pe itna time dena hai, writing paper mujhe itna time dena hai, mujhe revision ke liye itna time chahiye, ya ek particular question tha, jisko soch se soch se, mera time kuch zada hai nikal gaya. So this is really very, very important. Now, three ways I prepared. Maine kin teen tariqo se tiyari ki hai, what all points I considered. Maybe time management, maine refer kiya hai, apne books ko, extra notes ko, or maybe maine revision ke liye, alag alag strategies apnai hai, maine apne, jasse maine board pe piche dekh pa raha hai, maine display board pe apne, 
पॉइंटर्स लगाए हैं मैंने स्मॉल डायरी बनाया है मैंने माइंड मैप्स की तैयारी कराई व्हाट ऑल टेक्निक्स द चाइल्ड हैज यूज नाउ थ्री टिप्स फॉर सक्सेस जो मुझे लगता है कि बेस्ड ऑन माय प्रीवियस असाइनमेंट जो तीन टिप्स जो हैं मुझे सक्सेसफुल बनाएंगे एंड थ्री चैलेंजेस आई फेस जो मेरे को अभी तक चैलेंजेस फेस हो रहे हैं जो मुझे लगता है कि सम बडी शुड हेल्प मी विद दिस ओके मे बी एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ चैलेंजेस दैट विल वेरी फ्रॉम चिल्ड्रन टू चिल्ड्रन सो माय डियर एजुकेटर्स एज यू कैन सी हियर here uh, reflecting before and after assessment it helps you improve the performance so this side of the worksheet that you have seen so far this is to be completed before assessment before we start the assessment before we appear for half yearly examination and then now come to the uh, reverse side now this is the part 2 like after the test after the test hum bachche se kaise question puchhenge karne ke liye so as you can see here it is like that uh, complete this side after the exam draw a smiley to show how do you think it went okay koi bhi kind of emoji child's expressions how is the child feeling happy sad neutral what kind of uh, you see sort of uh, feelings are there in child's mind the child has to draw it through emojis now what uh, is your target grade aapka target grade kya hai marks percentage whatever you are thinking how would be your performance what grade do you think uh, this deserve aapka target kya tha aur aap is test ke baad kya soch हैं कि आपके कितने मार्क्स आएंगे कितना परसेंटेज यू विल बी एबल टू स्कोर सो दैट्स अ काइंड ऑफ थिंग नाउ as you can see how accurate is each statement you have to give it on a, a scale of 1 to 10 okay as per the child's thinking as per the child's performance i tried my best approach this assessment with a positive attitude and put in maximum effort the result is a fair reflection of my current abilities and learning right so the child has to rate it on the scale uh, from 1 to 10 health factors or maybe lifestyle choices lack of sleep or dehydration poor health emotional issues held me back in this assessment बच्चे को पता होना चाहिए कि मैंने अच्छे से प्रिपरेशन की नहीं थी इसलिए मेरा टेस्ट अच्छा नहीं गया या मे बी आई वॉज प्रिपेयर वेल वेल मेंटली आई वॉज नॉट रेडी फॉर इट सो दैट्स वाई आई कुड नॉट डू वेल आई हैव अ गुड सब्जेक्ट नॉलेज एंड आई फील दैट आई अंडरस्टैंड मोस्ट ऑफ वॉट हैज बीन थॉट सो फार इन दिस सब्जेक्ट आई कुड एड प्लेंटी ऑफ डिटेल वेयर रिक्वायर्ड सी दिस इज चाइल्ड कॉन्फिडेंस लाइक क्लास में जो पढ़ाया उसके बियॉन्ड अगर कुछ पूछा गया ऑब्वियसली डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन तो कहाँ हम लोग पूछते हैं बच्चों से उनकी लर्निंग असेस करने के लिए तो अगर जिस तरीके से भी पूछा गया आई वॉज एबल टू परफॉर्म वेल आई वॉज एबल टू uh you see apply that knowledge in the real life situations in that application based questions i was able to do that i know how to answer exam questions how the papers are structured and what kind of information the examiner will be looking for in my answers right bachcho ko ye pata tha ki kis tarike se mere se question puche gaye hain aur maine kis tarike se unko answer kiya hai i know now next is I know how to answer exam questions this we have already discussed I know how to improve my performance in such assessments I have a clear target for improvement that I understand I can reach and believe with genuine help so I need a kind of sort of some help to mujhe pata hai ki ye maine perform karke aaya hu exam mein ye kuch points the jahan par I was not able to understand maybe I need help from my mentor my guide my teacher my facilitator okay so or maybe I have to refer to some in other sources as well as my teacher guided like you have to refer to other sources also but I could not do it so that child should be clear I am aware of my strength my weaknesses in terms of subject knowledge and I know where these gaps in my knowledge that I need to work on through revision so proper revision strategies I need to adapt and adopt right I found it difficult to find focus on that assessment my mind wandered i got distracted easily and i wasted time by getting lost in thought and daydreaming hota hai hamare bachcho ke sath aisa हम फोकस नहीं कई बार कर पाते फोकस बहुत जरूरी है ना हम कर नहीं पाते हमारी सिटिंग नहीं है बच्चों की आप देखिए हम लोग देखते हैं बच्चे थोड़ी देर बैठते हैं उसके बाद में दे हैव टू गो आउट कुछ खाने के लिए चाहिए पीने के लिए चाहिए मे बी थोड़ा सा देख लिया अभी कुछ यूट्यूब देख लें आई मीन दिस इज जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ मे बी यू नो वेरी वेल एक्सेस ऑफ स्क्रीन टाइम के वजह से हम फोकस नहीं कर पाते हम कॉन्सेंट्रेट नहीं कर पाते सो दैट इज बींग 
faced by our children as well so the children should be clear ki main mera focus nahi hai meri us tarike se main kahin na kahin padhte 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 mera khayal hi kahin aur chala jata hai matlab main topic se kahin aur chala jata hu ya chala jati hu so this is a really very important for our children to know one thing that went well in that assessment was jo cheez bahut achhi gayi one thing that did not go so well that was and my main target for the improvement next time maine kya improve karna hai mera target kya hai now my second target for improvement so my dear educators you must be now thinking what is the use of this kind of assessment wrapper iska kya use hai dekhiye hum generally bachcho se discuss nahi karte hain class mein exam se pehle hum apne topic prepare karane ke liye lag jate hain exam ho gaya to fir usme kaun se question galat the kaun se sahi the wo kyun galat hua wo kyun sahi hua we don't discuss about it bacche ka performance agar bacche ka prepare preparation itna nahi tha but still uh, the child was able to perform better wo kaise hua how was the child able to do it so us cheez ke liye maybe the child was confident enough bacha the child was able to recall the knowledge uh, what all concepts they were taught in the class usko implement kar paya maybe child ki preparation bahut achhi thi par wo acha nahi kar paya kyun uska mental state sahi nahi tha he was not uh, uh, I mean, in a stage to appear in the exam, he was not uh, properly hydrated. खाना नहीं खाया, whatever. I mean, focus was not there because of uh, maybe lack of sleep. बच्चा हर रात पढ़ता रहा, पढ़ता रहा. सुबह तो he was feeling sleepy. He was not able to focus and maybe concentrate. So these kinds of questions we need to ask. This is just one exam wrapper. I will be sharing with you different kinds of exam wrappers, and you can design your. own exam wrappers and share the same with your students so that you will get to know about you see your child's your students weakness and strength so that you will be able to facilitate their learning in that manner see metacognition thinking of thinking hum bahut baatein karte hain iske bare mein ki thinking of thinking hame pata hai iska meaning kya hai but this is not easy आसान नहीं है किसी की सोच के बारे में सोचना कि ये किस तरीके से सोच रहा है और उस तरीके से उसकी सोच को मॉडिफाई करके हम उसको ऐसा जो है कि ऐसे गाइड करें कि द चाइल्ड विल बी एबल टू डू बेटर और अपनी थिंकिंग स्टाइल में चेंज लाए अपने पढ़ा पढ़ने की स्ट्रैटेजीज में चेंज लाए उसको हम किस तरीके से गाइड कर पाएंगे यू विल बी एबल टू गेट टू नो मोर वेन यू एक्सप्लोर दिस मोर वेन यू विल बी वॉचिंग मोर वीडियोज on assessment wrappers so this is just one in the upcoming video i'll be sharing with you another format on exam wrapper or the assessment wrapper you may design your own also as i have just shared with you keep watching mentoring the mentors and because you are going to get wonderful ideas at only mentoring the mentors so see you again in another video till then bye bye